is to mark the passing of Ken Whaley, who not only was a fabulous musician, was a fabulous man. And when he and Malcolm joined the man band, it was like they were two civilized people in the world of barbarians. <laughs> I mean, we were barely house trained, and then suddenly we had these two English gentlemen in the band. Very, 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 um, something. Uh, anyway, the man band you may have noticed, or you may not know, have been dying off. Ken is the latest, and Clint went a couple of years ago uh, from emphysema. And, uh, Mickey then went a year before that. The little Mirtha bastard. <laughs> Can you imagine what it's like playing on a stage with what I consider to be the best guitar player in the fucking world? It's really depressing. <laughs> really is. Uh, it only came out in his funeral, but but. Uh, it appeared that Frank Zappa had done uh, for, an, uh, for an article a journalist had asked him the 10 best guitarists in the world. And Mickey was in there. Can you imagine how that makes me feel? <laughs> okay, no. Uh, no, I No, I just assumed that Zappa went to write deep Leonard down but wrote, wrote Jeff Beck by mistake. <laughs> Anyway, I got a theory about the deaths of the man, man band because I live in Clinetti. There's a couple of, couple of Swansea people in the middle and a couple of London ones, and it all it seems to be that all the deaths are coming eastward. <laughs> and I come from Clinetti, I'm the last one that's going to go. <laughs> yeah, mm, pretty good. That's, I don't do it. Now in 60 a day is, you know, you're smoking and, oh, I'm not going to last long. I'm closer to the end than the beginning, as you probably know. Um, anyway, right. Uh, they always take the good ones, though, don't they? Why don't they take Brian Ferry instead? <laughs> Uh, th th this is a, a riff that I always do when, when I talk about death, which I increasingly do. Um, is uh, to say, why do they always take the good ones? Why do they take Andrew Lloyd Webber instead? Or why do they take Elaine Page instead? You know, so. But I used to say all the time. Phil Collins. Yeah. Why didn't I take Phil Collins? But now I can't do that and I'll explain to you why. Because I did a radio show for two serializations of both my books uh, for BBC Radio Wales. And uh, a lot of the road crew from Concert Sound with the Man Band's road crew, uh, Jeff Hooper came down and got copies of them so that he could take them on the road and did, he started dishing them out to everybody, he was brilliant. Uh, and he did a gig with Phil Collins. <laughs> and uh, Phil Collins, they were doing his tour. And uh, it was a couple of days off and Phil Collins had to fly to somewhere. I'm back within these couple of days. And he said to Jeff, he said, you know, I've got anything to read. Have you got anything to read? And Jeff said, no, but i got Dick Leonard's um, autobiography. You can, you can listen to it all on the way over. So he went off. And I don't, I'm not rude about Phil Collins in the book, I don't think. <laughs> I can't be 100% sure. But I don't think I have. Or I was, rather. But Phil Collins came back and... Uh, Jeff said to him, what do you think of it then? He said, it was fucking brilliant, wasn't it? <laughs> so I can't say Phil Collins anymore. 